Hello everyone, I'm Saurav, and today I'm going to be presenting mini NDN. We'll go through um, the overview examples and many more of mini NDN. So um, the basic outline of this talk would be over giving overview. It will not strictly follow these things, but you know, kind of a, uh, basically, it will try to. I will try to stick with my, this outline with more thing in it. Uh, we'll go to getting started experiments, and then we'll also talk about things to know and more. How do you? How can you uh, do a basic hacking? And uh, we'll also talk about a little bit about mini and and Wi-Fi and uh, a few demos. So going into the overview, the first question might come into mind: Why another tool? We just uh, what the first session session in the first session we saw a lot of things about and and same what it can do, and it was pretty good. Um, but how do you actually test that your application is working? You know, you build some application, and then what is the mechanism you to test that application? So one of the options we have is to try test bed. Obviously, uh, you can run your experiment, experiment test bed. Uh, you can also build actual network of the machines and then tunnel them together and then try your experiment, right? Uh, or your application. That that way also you can verify. It. But these processes are not that trivial. It requires, uh, in let's say, if you're talking about the second uh, approach, you need a lot of you know machines at least to set up and then do a bunch of stuff. Uh, test bed, it's also not non-trivial. You have to go to uh, different process, and then um, running application test bed is also not that easy. So another approach is mini NDN. So it's a mini NIT best em emulator tool that will uh, emulate all the things that you were looking in here in a single machine. That's what it does. Um, the Mininet, which is uh, which Mini NDN is based upon, uh, is a pretty popular tool. Um, it allows to build a virtual network infrastructure on a single machine. So uh, you kind of um, can create a, a you know a network with a lot of hosts, and then uh, they would use this virtual Ethernet pair, uh, and then uh, and basically they can communi communicate with each other through that. Uh, it will provide a quick and easy environment for testing, experimentation, integration testing, research and development of, on annual platform. Additionally, it will also run much, many more uh, IP stuff things because Mininet is uh, basically for the IP stuff. So you can you can get both of these things. Um, and it is easier to emulate different network condition and sizes. So uh, it's not that complicated to run, you know, to add a few extra nodes. Um, and then um, you can also emulate different conditions based on uh, what kind of loss rate you want to set, what is the bandwidth you want to set, and all the stuff you can set. And then also you can have a, a different size of an error. Um, yes, and then, then each nodes can run a folder, routing, and other NDN applications, uh, whatever you want. Um, so that's the benefit of mini NDN. And uh, also the important point is it is independent of change in NDN platform, which means you can always be uh, you know up to date with uh, you, you can always use the latest up to date andean uh, packages and then platforms and also you can use old version of them if that's your requirement you know so it, it is independent to change in 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 these packages so that also gives you a lot of flexibility uh, one of the caveat to this one is it only works on linux uh, i am not sure if people have figured out uh, uh, other ways so that you can work not uh, mac and other platforms I think it requires some special corner modules, um, so that's why currently it is only supported in Linux. So this is a kind of limitations that is propagated from Mininet itself. Uh, the current status, we are growing slowly. Um, it is actively maintained. We constantly add new features to it. Uh, we did a major redesign last year. Uh, we make, uh, made everything um, it looks very simple and easy to write experiment and to install stuff. Uh, we also tried to be more aligned with Andean CMS is that kind of a experimental writing process, pro procedure and also uh, try to be more aligned with Mininet. So whoever is fami familiar with Mininet uh, and experimenting uh, there, they, they will not have any hassle in installing and uh, you know using Andean. Uh, we don't have an exact count as uh, Alex showed uh, for uh, Andean Sim, but uh, based on the Google search uh, and then uh, Scholar search, I found out that there are more than 50 publications that were using our tool. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, open source and free software. So this is a few snapshots of our GitHub uh, status. So uh, now we go to the getting started thing. So how do you, how do you uh, what do you need and where where you can run? So right now we have tested um, our mini NDN 
with following Linux distribution, uh, Ubuntu, uh, Debian, and Fedora. Uh, we uh, recommend Ubuntu because uh, that's what we actively use for uh, many of our testing purposes, and then we know many uh, you know, um, bugs that comes along, and then it, it, was, it, it would be much easier for uh, us, us and also for you to debug stuff. So that's why we recommend using Ubuntu. Um, and uh, these are the dep dependencies of uh, mini NDN right now. So it's mini, as I said, it's based on mini NDN, mini net, uh, mini net Wi Fi is also another module. Uh, this is optional, but if you want to do something with mini net, wi uh, mini NDN Wi Fi, we have another, uh, I mean, mini NDN also support mini uh, Wi Fi uh, uh, stuff. So that's why if you want to do experiments with Wi Fi, you need this one and uh, a lot of the NDN packages. And uh, this is one is small tool in Friday. This is also our dependencies. Um, so going towards the installation, uh, we have a couple of options that you can use to install the mini NDN. Uh, the obvious one is to clone the repository uh, and then install it. Um, however, uh, however, we provide several flags, uh, you know, the, through this mini installation script. And you can use these flags to do a bunch of interesting installation process. For example, if you want to install all the NDN packages from source, you know, if you are uh, playing with NDN packages and also you want to do experiment, uh, experiments, let's say you're changing NFT or NLSR or any of this stuff in there, then we recommend you installing the, uh, it from the source. Uh, if you are not doing the, those stuff, you're not changing, but rather you are doing more like application level uh, changes, uh, you know the changes are mostly on your application side and on all the stuff. Then we would recommend doing it PP, uh, through PPA. Uh, this is the flag that you can use, and you can install a mini NDN pretty quickly if you use PPA. Um, this is another patch that we, uh, you know, kind of a couple of years ago we um, uh, we uh, found this thing. Uh, we we implemented this um, this flag, uh, the dummy keychain patch. So this is uh, you know if we if you don't want to security stuff to be enabled. Um, then you can use this path so that it will skip the signing and verification, and then this will make experiments faster. We don't recommend it uh, to use it that way, but uh, if and also if your experiment doesn't require, you know, only do it if your experiment doesn't require the sign signature verification. Um, ver verification. Um, you know, as I said, like mini NDN, mini NDN also support, supports Wi-Fi. Uh, so, but if you don't want to do any experiments with Wi-Fi, then you can basically install without Wi-Fi. Uh, lastly, this one is pretty interesting. If you want to install a specific version of uh, NFT, let's say you were doing some comparisons, um, yeah, that, that you know, some of the comparisons where they used a specific version of NFT or any of the other packages like PSync and LSR, then you can choose that version and then install that specific version. So this is also interesting. Uh, yeah, and to, one thing to note is that if your system already has this existing dependencies, then the installation will obviously use those. Uh, and not install the new one. So another option is to use a container virtual box. Um, this will allow uh, new, specifically, you know, especially new beginners, pretty easy way to play with mini NDN and NDN stuff uh, uh, as a whole. Um, there are some basic system requirements, uh, which if you fulfill, then you will be able to easily run mini NDN. Um, and the first one is to use uh, using Vagrant. Uh, it's a very uh, the simple way is to get the vagrant a pre-compiled mini Indian box, which is here. Uh, it, is, it is in our repository. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, it has you know it it, it al already comes with the pre-compiled mini Indian and all the dependency stuff. So you can just get this box, and then choose your folder, download, install it, and you'd have mini Indian if everything goes well. You don't have to do any of those installation script that we do in the previous slide. Uh, a bit hard way is to set up a fresh uh, vagrant box. Uh, if, you know, just choose uh, whatever vagrant box you want to prefer. Uh, as I said, like I would say, choose the Ubuntu box, uh, and then uh, and then follow the option A for installation. The previous slide, uh, the the previous slide where I saw the bunch of options, uh, installation options, just follow that and install it. You might say that why you want to go through this route if you already have this. Then uh, I'll say that. Precompile mini NDN box might not be updated. It might have some old version of NDN packages, and and if you want the latest of all these dependencies, then you can put this truck. Uh, so we also support Docker. Um, you can use uh, mini NDN using Docker. So we have a Docker file here. 
uh, you can you can just get it and then run uh, and start trying it. So this is another uh, way of installing Mini India. Uh, for the verification process, um, if yeah, so for the verification users, uh, after you install Mini Indian, you just go to the Mini Indian directory, and then we have this a very basic uh, example uh, which runs the instance of NFT and NLSR on, on a node, and then you can just go and run it. So this is the process how you run this uh, this uh, you know experiment or this scenario, um, and then if everything is all right, you would see this. It will. Uh, you know, pop up this screen. I mean, in, in this uh, in, in the com command line, you'll see this, and uh, you'll see the mini and DNC a lot. So if you do this, uh, you you are almost good to go. But sometimes uh, this screen also comes up if NFT or NLSR is not running on a road. If there, there was any error in that, uh, I will talk about later how you can debug those stuff. But in most of the cases, if this is if it is what this is what you see, then you are good to go. Uh, optionally, you can also verify Mininet. Um, you can just run this command. Uh, it will pop up this, uh, basically, pretty much similar. And then you see the CLI, Mininet CLI. But this is optional. You don't need to do this. Uh, I mean, it, it's important if sometimes, you know, if uh, your experiment, if your uh, some of your scripts are not running properly, then there is also a chance that some there might be some problem with Mininet. So, uh, yeah, just debug the first step. First step debugging would be to verify Mininet is installed or not, and then if it looks like it is installed, but there is some problem, then you can verify if Mininet is rightly configured or installed or not. So that's why I, I put this one here. Um, Mininet is a pretty cool tool. Uh, you, there, it provides us several uh, interesting commands you can try. Uh, there is a ping commands, which is a wrapper. You can directly try to ping host um, and resolve station name by IP, uh, name rather than IP address. So you, if your station has you know, like a specific name, then you can use that too. Uh, there's a net command which will show you the topology. Uh, if when you once you are in the CLI, you can just hit this command net, and then you can see that. Um, and it has many more other options that you can try. So there is a command sudo m, and that's it, which will clear all the existing, uh, existing uh, you know the, the the existing instances of the, the host and all the stuff. So so yes, before you run a new experiment or you run new. Uh, experiments or uh, the script, and I would recommend running this command so it will clear everything. Um, so now we go into the features. What we offer so far, uh, as I said, we we are still develop, we are still growing. Um, we offer both wire and wireless support uh, now. A wireless support also wireless uh, uh, also supports a few mo mobility mobility models. Uh, so that's why we have found a lot of people interested in using for vehicular. Uh, you know experiments these days um and wired is uh, also used in many other i mean all, all, almost all other scenarios uh for the topology we have a bunch of options on how you can create a topology um topology creator visual visualizer is one option um so this is still in development right now but you can uh, this, this this is we we got this from the mini net and we are uh, it, it works so far but we are also looking forward to implement more features to this visualizer so basically uh, you can get a GUI, and then you can use that GUI to um, grab host and then links, and then create a topology from there. Um, we also have uh, another option uh, where you can generate the testbed topology. So this will this option will generate uh, whatever the testbed topology is right now. You can just run a script, and then whatever topology that our current Indian testbed is using right now, it will generate that topology. So it's also um, Important in some aspects that if you're trying to, you know, emulate the testbed stuff or you're trying to emulate what we have right now in the testbed. Uh, also, there are a lot of topologies we have in the topology folder, uh, and it comes with installation. You can check out the repository, mini Indian repository. This would be a directory called topology. Uh, we offer routing helper. Uh, we offer Indian IP routing helper. I'll talk more about, uh, about this routing helper and few other stuff later. So I would just uh, say that this is. You can keep in mind that this is a feature that we offer, and uh, also we uh, one of the interesting thing that you get is real time interaction with the instant instances. Let's say you install um, a mini NDN and then you start the uh, you know you start a basic experiments, then you can go to the CLI and then do a real time interactions with nodes. Like you can run NFTC command, NF NLSR uh, you know utility command, and then see you know how your nodes are interacting or the what is the uh, how the how many you know what is the cache how the cache is being used. Using the again using the NFTC command, 
So there's a bunch of stuff you can do uh, in real time. So that's an interesting feature. Um, so these are our documentations and examples. Um, detailed documentation can be found here. Uh, I probably will go there just to show you what it is there right now. Uh, yeah, we have this picture that I have in the slides here as well. So uh, yeah, that we have a detailed installation instruction um, and um, how do how can you install dependencies, all the stuff, uh, the details about the vagrant file. And uh, this section, you can see how you can configure the experiments, how you can uh, get the you know topology, how you can write a new configuration file for the topology, uh, and all those bunch of stuffs are here. Um, we try to update this website as much as possible. After we make some some changes, we update this uh, descriptions of you know with all those details. Yeah, so you. You might want to check this out. It's it's uh, it's a kind of a basic starting point when for for uh, playing with Mini Indian. Uh, yeah, our source code is, code is here, and and uh, one of the interesting things that you might want uh, after you install Mini Indian is to look at the examples. Um, here you can find a bunch of examples. It has um, different examples for NLSR scenarios for the sync, uh, for Wi-Fi. And then other different, you know, uh, if you want to run simple consumer producer example, you can take take uh, this as a reference to write a new example for yourself. And uh, I would be later on will be talking about a few of these examples that are here and also demonstrating some of them. Uh, yeah, we have a mailing list. It's active mailing list. You can send your queries, questions into the mailing list, and then some of us will try to get back to you. Um, we are still working on more documentations um, and guides. This is a work in progress, um, and this will also be shown in our website. This also, this one contains more details about uh, how you write experiments, and yeah, and then what what do you expect from those experiments? How can you do a bunch of other stuff? So this is a work in progress, which will be in our website very soon.